I rise uh, to introduce the Airline Personnel Training Act of 2009 and to ask for Senator's support for this important measure to improve safety in the air and on the ground. The story of this legislation begins with a tragedy. On November 11, 2006, Paul and Rene Gonzalez were driving back from a soccer tournament with four of their daughters. They were roughly one hour from their home in Las Vegas, New Mexico, when they saw Dana Papp's vehicle. Pabst had been driving on the wrong side of I-25 for about five miles before his car collided with the Gonzales minivan at 60 to 75 miles per hour. Five of the six members of the Gonzales family were killed. Pabst later died at the hospital. I can't say for certain whether this tragedy could have been prevented by a change in laws, but I do know this. A few hours before Dana Papps took six lives, including his own, he was flying back to Albuquerque after a business trip. On that flight, he was noticeably intoxicated, yet he, served at, yet he was served alcohol by airline personnel. When his truck collided with the Gonzales minivan, his blood alcohol level was four times the legal limit. When I heard about Dana Pabst and the Gonzalez family, I began to look for legislation that could prevent tragedies like this in the future. I learned that under existing law, Pabst should have not been served alcohol on his flight. In fact, somebody as drunk as Pabst never should have been allowed on that flight. But airlines are not required to teach their personnel how to handle an intoxicated passenger. To address this problem, I introduced the Airline Personnel Training Enhancement Act in the other body during the last Congress, and I'm introducing it again here today. This legislation requires air carriers to train their employees on recognizing and dealing with drunk or disruptive passengers. This training will help employees make informed decisions when allowing people to board flights, when deciding whether a passenger should be served alcohol, and when dealing with belligerent passengers. Many states require people who serve alcohol in restaurants and bars to be properly trained. This legislation simply closes a large and potentially deadly loophole. I hope that it will lead to fewer deaths on our roads. New Mexico, like so many other states, has too many crosses on our highways, too many stories of loss and regret. Drunk driving claimed 155 New Mexico lives the year Paul and Rene Gonzalez were killed. It claimed 188 the year before and 211 the year before that. We have the power to help reduce these numbers. I hope we will use it. But my legislation is not just about drunk driving. As I began to study the training of airline personnel, I discovered a large and frightening threat to the traveling public. Outbursts by belligerent passengers are more and more common but airline personnel are rarely trained on how to handle these situations. Incidents of air rage increased 400% since 2000. There are an estimated 10,000 cases each year in the United States alone. Airline security experts estimate that alcohol is the underlying cause of the majority of incidents. These incidents can pose a serious threat to passengers and personnel. In some cases, flights have been diverted from their destination in order to land where threatening passengers could be arrested. Airline personnel are on the front line for ensuring flight safety. Gate attendants are in the best position to keep drunk or belligerent passengers off flights. And today, flight attendants are often the only personnel capable of maintaining order in a plane's cabin. Before 9-11, a flight's captain or co-pilot would leave the cockpit to assist the flight crew when a passenger made threats or became abusive. Today, the cockpit door is locked for safety. Flight attendants have more responsibility for keeping passengers safe. Unfortunately, airlines do not have to give their employees the skills to meet their responsibilities. One study found that, and I quote, the lack of attention paid by the aviation community to the importance of the flight attendant's role in a commercial flight has led to recurring instances of abuse of cabin crew by passengers and the inability of cabin crew to restrain violent passengers." Close quote. 
The Airline Personnel Training Enhancement Act will help remedy this unsafe and unacceptable situation. This legislation is supported by the Association of Flight Attendants and Mothers Against Drunk Driving. It is also a common sense response to a serious problem. It will make our skies and our roads safer. I hope you will support it.